so what we're going to fit today we're going to fit these side wind deflectors which there you go if i can reach just there like that on the side of the bike because what i've noticed is the screen gives great wind protection so does the fairing but this part here but the screen and the indicator there seems to be a jet stream of air which comes just underneath the bar and it makes the bottom of your arm cold top of the arms fine because i've got the hand guard so the wind deflects up so i'm getting it underneath the bottom of my arms it must be a common thing because somebody would have invented these and these are by a company called I can't read it. Some at GP. Can't read what it says. So they do these in smoke, in black, and these are in the clear. So I think they are about £108 on Amazon. I got these for £44 off eBay. So we're going to fit one. What I've had to do on this side, I've just got it in position. But I've got a hole here because I've got a USB charger. So I've got to use my little Dremel tool just to cut out that hole. Which, that's what it is. And then the other thing you have to do is there, you have to drill a little hole in the plastic for that hole there some people do drill an hole up here but because i've got i believe it's the highlander screen see this highlander screen sits just over the top and it holds it in place so i don't think i'll need another screw up there so i'll finish drilling this i'll get the usb fitted we'll fit the other side and then we'll try them out and see if it works but that's the kind of deflection it gives there so this is where obviously the blast of air is coming you know they're not going to be perfect it's not going to stop it all obviously you've got the aerodynamics here with the fairing and also this highlander screen it does come around quite a bit here so you do get a bit of protection but also this could be adding to the direction here this little bit here could be adding to the wind flow so we'll get it fitted and we'll see how they go someone's mentioned it's hard to clean underneath them once i've fitted so i'll drill it out i'll clean them fit it i think some people have put some vinyl wrap on there you know you can probably get some i think it's pearl white wrap but we'll see how we go so let's get it fitted Right, so there we go. It's all dremeled out. That fits just fine. And to clean all this off. And then we'll fit the other side. That's that one fitted. It's a bit close there on the screen, but it's fine. The screen's holding it in place. Right, we'll fit the other side now. So that's going to go there like that. Right, so in the kit, you get two of these. Those are the ones that go in there. You get two of these little rubbers with a thread on the back so that goes in the hole you drill you get two of these big ones that don't fit nothing a metal spacer and this bracket i have no idea where they go they don't seem to fit anything right so i've decided to use my own bolts because the ones they send in the kit are absolutely useless they're good for nothing 
So what we need to do, I need to now make a mark where this is going to go. That's it. So I can now, I can now drum all that out with my little drill. There, that's it. We need the nut and washer. I'll have to take all these off again to get all the all the rubbish from underneath. That's it. What that does, that rubber pulls the thread at the back and the rubber spreads so it grips it. Yeah, I think I might need one here at the top just to stop it doing that. So here we go, they are on. side so hopefully that will do its job it'll stop the wind there you're still going to get a bit there under the screen and it bending round the screen here okay a little update so I have put another fixing in there on both of them but also with my little dremel as you can see I need to rub it down a bit but I've cut a little section into the screen and I think it is because this is the Highlander screen I think the standard screen doesn't come out as much because the instructions did say this only fits with the standard screen but obviously that little bit of a a dremel there has done it so bit of faffing about bit of messing about with them to get them to fit but they look all right i do like them many don't but i do i don't mind them so all we need to do is clean out clean behind them get all the bits out and give them a bit of a road test so hopefully we get a little bit of improvement. I'm not expecting a lot or massive, but a little bit will do. That are not too bad. Yeah, but you get no instructions with them. And the fitting kits they send you are completely useless. I don't know what them kits are for. But they don't fit any of the threads in the bike. Right, let's go and try it. So there we go. I've made my little cut each side. I've rounded it off, made it smooth, so there they are. Right then, let's go and try these wings out. So what somebody also mentioned was you get a bit of dirt underneath them and it's hard to clean. I can already see here, but I've washed the bike today, see the water still underneath. So what I might do, I might put some rubber washers underneath it so it raises it just a tiny bit so it'll allow me to blast water underneath it and it'll dry out quicker. And I've got a bit there as well, see, see the bubbles. So I think it needs to be a little washer to raise it and I can clean underneath it. Right, let's go and see 
what these are like. It's a bit windy today. 14 degrees, which is quite windy. And what I've done is I've put my mesh jacket on for exactly the same reason because when I was riding I noticed I was getting cold air here and cold air right there. So we're going to see if it makes any difference. Right, let's go and find a dual carriageway. Actually, already that's quite a big difference I'm noticing. I'm not feeling any buffeting here at the sides. I did get a bit of buffeting there. But this next bit we find out, because that's a bit of a straight. Yeah, that's quite a big difference, that is. A big, big difference. That's quite noticeable. I'm feeling a bit of wind here, on the top of the arm. And a little bit here. Just on the inside, before I was getting it all here. I'm getting nothing there now. I'm not feeling any wind, or any buffeting. That's quite surprising actually there how uh, it is deflected it from the body. So I'm still getting a bit here, which I'd imagine is because of this screen, how the screen's cut in like that. But that part here is is very noticeable. Because what I found on my VFR 800, I noticed obviously because I was more more kind of in the race position, my stomach never felt the cold but my chest did because my chest was above the screen where getting onto this i noticed the opposite i was getting wind down the side here and i was feeling it on my stomach where now i'm only feeding it here just on my arm so really this little cut out here there's like a little channel there so that's the bit i'm only feeding now they've come out quite well but i've cut it out for the screen to fit i'm happy with that I'm quite impressed with them. For 44 quid, I know there's a bit of faffing about with it and getting them to fit smooth, which I do think it is the screen. I think the standard screen doesn't. It has got them little wings at the bottom at the bottom of the screen, so I think it fits fine with them. But it won't, no bother, just to cut that bit out, rub it down a bit. Yeah, that's... That is quite a noticeable difference, that is. I did put a comment in the Cross Tour Facebook group with a couple of people. Um, one guy mentioned that the dirt can get underneath and it can be quite hard to clean, so I think I might just raise them a bit on a thick rubber washer. And... A couple of people said they fitted them and found no difference whatsoever. I've got to say, I've noticed a massive difference in that. You know, this is no sponsorship of the couple. I don't even know the brand of them. I can't even read it. Um, I, I bought these. They wasn't given me. I paid for them off eBay. Uh, the shop up was selling them. Um, I don't think it's their brand, they're just a, a shop. But I'm quite impressed with them. I think that is a mod definitely worth doing. But yeah, I'm quite... Uh, actually, I can feel... Well, let me just do a test, hold on. I want to see where I feel resistance. So there. I can start there feeling the wind blow my hand back. Which is running in line with that window. Window. With that cut out of the screen. 
Right, I've still got it there. It's now gone. So level with the clutch reservoir, the wind's gone. There's none here. I can just feed it there. Which obviously is fit in line with the side of the bike. Let's go around here. Let's try that again. Yeah, so there, there's, I can fill the airstream. It stops there. So it's stopping just above the clutch reservoir. There's none down there. And if I put my hand there, I can feed it there. So about there. So basically it is, it is just missing my torso. I think there's a couple of companies that do make these. I don't know what the make is, the ones I've, it's got some GP on them. Can't read it. But I'm happy with them. Very happy. Obviously dual carriageways and motorways is where you're gonna get the benefit more. And I suppose like today, no autumn's here, and you've got the chill in the air. That can make the difference. So I'm happy with them, I would recommend them. Some people have said they've found no difference, but I certainly have. I quite like them as well, actually. Obviously in the summer, because it's only three screws in the summer, I could actually take them off. So I could get a bit of a, a bit of airflow. So there we go. There's my Honda VFR 1200 Cross Tourer Side Wind Protectors, Deflectors, whatever you want to call them. Side protectors, side deflectors, side wind protectors. Oh no, no. So that's it. Till the next video, I'll see you later. Ciao for now. Yeah, them side deflectors are working <laughs> amazing. I'm getting no buffeting on my body whatsoever. I'm getting none at the side of my helmet. Wow. Wow, they are good. Anyhow, that's me done. I'll see you on the next video.